Hello and welcome. You're watching The Social Network. Now this week has been uh, uh, this week has been a bit of a difficult week for many young people across the world now coming to terms with two young people who've committed uh, suicide. Well, Jia Khan, of course, 25 years old, committed suicide uh, just a couple of days ago. And Paris Jackson, all of only 15, attempted to commit suicide just yesterday. So, of course, the world is in shock in a sense. So, on the social network today, we discuss suicides, survival, lonely battles. Now, joining us uh, on the show, we've got uh, Jerry Pinto, who joins us from Mumbai. We've also, he's an actor and a journalist, he, uh, writer and a journalist. He joins us from Mumbai. We're also joined by Naveen Kasturi, who is an actor and a writer, also joins us from Mumbai. We're also joined from Mumbai by Sukmini, who's also an actor and a writer. And in the Delhi studio, we're joined by Arvinder Singh, who is uh, a psychotherapist with Sanjeevni, which is a voluntary organization that provides free and confidential counseling for emotional help. So it's one uh, definite path that young people can go to should they feel that the emotional stress is uh, getting too much for them to handle on their own. I want to start uh, uh, with you, um, Naveen. If you can hear me, I just want to start by asking you about, you know, Naveen, Sukhmini, you both are really young people in Mumbai trying to become the next Shah Rukh Khan or trying to become the next, uh, you know, Katrina Kaif, etc. How has this news of Jia Khan uh, impacted the two of you? Uh, you want me to go first? Or? Yes, please. Yes, Naveen, go on. Honestly, I heard it very late in the night and I was, uh, I was shocked, obviously, because she's a mainstream actress and we all of, all of us have seen her on, on screen, big screen. Uh, but it was not a big, big surprise to me because uh, because obviously I've heard such stories and I'm, I was not personally, uh, I never knew her personally, but as I said, it, it was shock. It was shocking because a mainstream actress has like did that, but N it was I mean, not very surprising. Yeah, you yeah. meant, you meant, you meant, in fact, you're saying that for the second time that it wasn't very surprising. Why do you feel that it's not surprising? Because the kind of, uh, the kind of, uh, the kind of, uh, people I am with in Bombay, the kind of uh, atmosphere I've seen in Bombay. It's because I am not really hanging out with people who have really achieved uh, what they, they wanted to when they came to Bombay. So I have seen a lot of people and I am with them all the time because they, most of them are struggling writers, actors, directors and um, they, they look sad almost all the time. They look sad because they're trying their level best but they're, they're facing rejections almost every day. So it's 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 very difficult to stay happy and uh, and cheerful all the time and uh, so you, so don't though you would not expect somebody to take such a drastic step yeah but as I said it 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 was not very surprising because uh, around me especially when I'm when I meet so you're saying, actresses so you're saying a lot of yeah. young people like you who are struggling to make it big in Mumbai are uh, yeah. finding themselves in the midst of very very lonely battles so Kmini, I want to throw that across to you uh, what, what's a what's a normal day like and how much how much yeah. of this loneliness are you are you forced to face on a daily basis um, well frankly speaking since I'm also a writer more than an actor uh, what I would like to say is that I know apart since I'm staying here by myself it gets very difficult the amount of pressures that we have as and you know I would like to specify this is not just uh, I, it doesn't apply only to actors if you speak of any profession the amount of pressures that we have to succumb to in today's term in today's day are innumerable uh, claim to fame the, the, the attempt to try to prove to your parents that you've done well the need to pay your rents um, everyone looking at you and seeing if you've come from a small town if you've actually achieved what you came to achieve or not because people are just waiting to pounce on you and see if you've really achieved something or not. So I think it's very tragic what has happened with her. I personally didn't know her at all but I feel really sorry and I would, I don't want to, I think you know when people say that uh, people who commit suicide are actually really weak people, I think it takes immense amount of strength to take that dupatta and so put it up on the fan so and just, I just hang to, yourself from I just want to, I just I want to, you need you know, you were talking yeah. about the fact that there are innumerable pressures. There are innumerable pressures across, uh, you know, for most young people now across different, different professions. Do you think there is something about uh, the world of Mumbai that makes it uh, tougher than any other profession? Yes, um, 
you know what I always say about Mumbai is that how it, it's different from Delhi is that the elite and the poor people, the middle class, everyone's just staying together. So what happens is your accessibility to be with such people in the environment and in the company of such people, your accessibility is more. So you have the opportunity of being at a party or being at a place or living in a residential area where your neighbor might be somebody from the slums who comes to your house to clean up versus somebody who's your boss. So what happens in the process is that your aspirations are much more. So yes, I would say Mumbai in comparatively to the other cities does do that to you.